Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 74 of Closer to God. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, and we are finishing up our look at the Gospel of Mark, and we're uh, looking at the 15th chapter, Lord, and we're going to look at some events after the death of Jesus on the cross. So guide us through the power and inspiration of your Holy Spirit in our discussion of the scripture that follows here. And just, Lord, help us to glean from this that which you want us to glean so that we can learn something today that we can apply to our everyday living that will not only bring us closer to you and help us understand you better, but also help us live according to the calling you have upon our lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so we're in. Hey, big truck. Um, we're in the Gospel of Mark chapter 15, uh, and we are going to be talking about the burial of Jesus today, and this will end this chapter, so we have one more chapter to go, which would be chapter 16. Uh, so we're just about done with our study of the Gospel of Mark. So today we're going to talk about the burial of Jesus, starting at verse 42. This all happened on Friday, the day of preparation, the day before the Sabbath. As evening approached, an honored member of the high council, Joseph from Arimathea, who was waiting for the kingdom of God to come, gathered his courage and went to Pilate to ask for Jesus' body. So, here we have a guy who is obviously um, someone who is honored, uh, who is a respectable man in his community, and... Um, he was looking for the kingdom of God to come. So that tells us that, you know, probably the reason why people honored him and and looked thought highly of him is because he was a righteous man. You know, he has he was a man focused on God. So he's gathering up courage to go to Pilate to ask for Jesus' body. Now, think about his position. You know, this has a been a touchy uh, semi political issue that was going on at the time. The execution has occurred, and people are still a little riled up about this. So, and he doesn't know how Pilate feels about this. He may have witnessed the uh, exchange between Pilate and the people when uh, Jesus was put on trial, and Pilate tried to have him released uh, because he didn't understand why they were so angry at Jesus and what the charges were against him. Pilate felt that Jesus was innocent. So, you know, this was a highly charged atmosphere, highly emotional atmosphere, uh, and, uh, and a greatly divided atmosphere, a lot of discord with this. So... He's kind of gathering up courage because it's like, all right, I don't want to, you know, stick, use a stick on a hornet's nest here and, and stir up anything, basically. So that's how he's feeling. He's going to Pilate and he's going to ask for Jesus' body. So at verse 44, we read, Pilate couldn't believe that Jesus was already dead. So he called for the Roman military officer in charge and asked him. The officer confirmed the fact and Pilate told Joseph he could have the body. So, again, crucifixion is a very long and very gruesome uh, death experience when someone's nailed to the cross and slowly suffocates to death. And it takes a while. So we know that Jesus was nailed to the cross at 9 o'clock in the morning. Around noon is when the darkness fell across the land, and by 3 o'clock Jesus was dead. You know, usually it would take all day for... Uh, people to die and you know they were thinking well you know hopefully these guys will all die before sunset because that's when the Sabbath day would begin uh, and we don't want to irritate uh, the those of the Jewish persuasion that we're going to be celebrating the Sabbath by having uh, dead criminals or dying criminals hanging on the cross so you know we're still hours away from that and Pilate's kind of shocked wow this guy's dead already um, and he's probably thinking in his mind, I didn't realize that they treated him that harshly and that cruelly, you know, because obviously they did or else he wouldn't have died so quickly. So, but he wanted to verify the report. So he, he verified it through the soldiers and, and the soldiers were like, yeah, yeah, it's true. He's, he's dead. So Pilate, um, being probably still questioning this whole affair about Jesus said, yeah, if you, if you want this guy's body, go ahead and take it. So, um, at Verse 46, we read, Joseph brought, bought a long sheet of linen cloth and taking Jesus' body down from the cross, he wrapped it in the cloth and laid it in a tomb that had been carved out of the rock. Then he rolled a stone in front of the entrance. 
Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph saw where Jesus' body was laid. So still, the women are still with Jesus, mourning his passing, mourning his death on the cross, mourning his execution, and they're watching all these events. And you know, here we have Joseph lovingly taking Jesus' body down off the cross, wrapping it up in a respectable manner and laying it into a tomb and rolling a stone across the tomb. So, you know, this in most instances would bring a bit of closure to all of us for someone that we love that has passed away. I mean, the grief and the sorrow we feel at their loss stays with us, but uh, whenever you go to somebody's funeral and they are, in, and then in turn uh, in a cemetery, uh, it kind of brings closure, you know, to the to their life. It's kind of like closing uh, the book on this chapter of their life. So this is kind of what they're feeling at this time, and and uh, they may have had a sense of wonder about them because Jesus talked a lot about this is what's going to happen when we get to Jerusalem. This is what's going to happen, and uh, but he said there's going to be some more, and they had to be thinking in the back of their minds. You know, he did say something about three days. He did say something about resurrection he did say something about i am the resurrection and the life you know he did say some things here that are causing us to pause and and wonder uh what he meant and what's going to happen from here you know it, it was kind of like a very awkward time for all of them because it kind of left them in limbo you know here we've had three years of jesus's ministry where he's out there doing all kinds of amazing things and teaching so much amazing things about God that now it's kind of like all in limbo because he went to the cross just like he said he would. He was betrayed just like he said he would be. And, you know, all the things he talked about have happened. And here they are now seeing him buried into a tomb and wondering, where do we go from here? But you and I know the rest of the story. But this is where they're at. And we're going to talk about the rest of the story uh, starting in the next segment. And, you know, with, the, with chapter 16, um, I think we're going to look at the whole chapter all at once instead of splitting it up into different sections because there's a short ending to the Gospel of Mark and there's a longer ending to the Gospel of Mark. And we're just going to take a look at it all uh, in chapter 16 in the next episode of Closer to God, uh, which will be episode 75. So... Until then, remember, nothing in this world is more important than the love of Jesus Christ. I'll talk to you soon.